Hello everybody, Angus here and welcome back to Surviving Mars. We are right where we left off. Some building is not working. Ah, well, this one, it's nothing. Uh, we have a new anomaly. We have a drone hub, finally. Sector scanned. Here's the anomaly. RC Explorer, please scan it. And that's another source of water. Both are about the same distance away from us. So it makes no difference. Five free supply pods? Okay. Have a Martian-born colonist. Alright. Somebody was born on Mars. Damn. Yep. Marvin the Martian. First child born on Mars. Uh, you, I want you to grab more medals. Because we need this dome built. Uh, we only have half medals there. How are you doing? Almost half full. I think I might want one more recharge station here. And like one more. Actually, a couple more here. You're loaded up. So, unload. And we're gonna send you to... That's just concrete, but why? Experimental rocket! A new rocket engine has been developed by our sponsor on Earth. We have been offered the dubious honor of testing the first prototype. Okay, it is risky, but there is no fun without risk. We accept. Okay, you unloaded, so start stocking up on those. And you can be sent? No, not yet. You're still refueling. Are you gathering those? Well, you are, you're just taking your sweet time, it seems. It says we have 30 medals in construction sites. Yeah, 22 here. And we also have some medals here. Yeah, 23 more. And we have concrete here. It's gonna need a drone commander. Building up second layer. Research complete. Rapid sleep. Now our colonists will be more efficient. Less sleep necessary. Fifty out of sixty, not bad. You loaded up yet? Soon. And loaded up. Can I unload those right here? No, I cannot. Okay, unload them in the storage then. And uh, hopefully our drones will take this metal 
to continue building the dome. Well, of course, maintenance is also necessary. But uh, without this dome, we won't have medals. Actually, bump the priority. Yeah, as soon as we build it, uh, we will no longer have any issues with metal. Hopefully. There it is. There's the dome being built. Just like so. Uh, now this dome is gonna need... First of all, metals extractor. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Bourgeoisie 1. Wow! Resources. What a name for a dome. Low energy in storage? No, not really. We have plenty. Now, this bourgeoisie is gonna need... Mm, it's gonna need a living complex, that's for sure. It's gonna need a grocer. And uh, this wants... Who does it want? Geologists. Okay. Mm, birth control policy... Uh, colonists... Uh, no, that just inspects colonists... Filter by traits... Specialization... Geologists... Yes! I want geologists... Apply... And in here, specialization, I do not want geologists. Uh, we should probably build a shuttle so that people can go between those two faster. Uh, oh, we have landscaping tools. I did not expect that, to be honest with you. Shuttle. Where is a shuttle? Life support? No. Production? No. Energy? No. Infrastructure, drone hub, recharge, subsurface heater, tunnel. No. So. I guess we. I guess we have no. No shuttles? Anyway, we're gonna need another passenger rocket. With more geologists. Mm. Compost, hippie, survivor, enthusiast, vegan. Do we have anybody with like negative traits? Not really. Do we perhaps not need someone? I don't think we need this many scientists. We do, however, need... Uh, geologists. We don't have any more geologists. 
Well, let's grab some no specs then. Yeah, no, no geologists. Hmm. Okay, launch that rocket. Hopefully this can be stabbed by a no-spec. I mean, it can be stabbed by a no-spec. Not enough energy. Please come morning. And can I maybe build more... Yes, I can build more sterlings. Okay. And uh, I also need uh, a machine parts factory. Might as well build it here. Research complete. Transport optimization. We have all of that running and still not enough energy and not enough water. Mm, moisture evaporator. We have two more moisture evaporators available to us. So might as well place both. They're gonna need electricity though. And we are hurting for electricity. Uh, this sterling needs more polymers. And uh, can I create second shift? I can, but nobody is going to staff it. Can I maybe order a supply pod? With polymers and electronics. Because uh, we're gonna need those stab. You. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn you off. Resources are low. Yes, I know resources are up. Are low, believe me. Believe you me. Electricity, polymers, and electronics. It's more passengers. Uh, more passengers, more colonists. That should actually help us. Meteor storm. Great! The region is about to experience a meteor storm. Buildings directly hit by meteors will be in need of repairs in order to function again, while pipes and cables will be destroyed. Rovers hit by meteors will also need repairs while drones may become irreversibly damaged. Oh wow! Meteor storms cannot be avoided, but some good practices may minimize their damage potential, such as not clustering vital buildings next to each other, pipe and cable redundancy, and researching the tech for MDS lasers from the physics field. Well, everything here is clustered, <laughs> so... Have 30 colonists. Meteor Storm, new special project, capture meteors. Oh, so we have succeeded in capturing and diverting meteors towards our general vicinity in a gambit to. Br so that's what this mission did. I willingly brought a meteor storm upon our colony. Are you serious? Oh, 
Are you serious? That's what I did. What uses this much this much energy? Uh, you. Turn you off. Yeah, that was using a lot. This sterling. Uh, land this, please. Land this. Resources are low. Oh, and this can be dismantled. Great, great, great. More electricity, please. Drones under heavy load, I understand, but we can't really do anything about it right now. I'm gonna send you for more metal. There are... Okay, so there are people out there. Uh, Nicodem is unemployed. Uh, okay. Polymer factory. I'm gonna give you a second shift. Because we're in constant need of polymers. Electricity issue has largely been resolved. We just need a couple more polymers, like literally a couple more. The rockets are being refueled. That's fine. Food is being unloaded. Now we just wait for the inevitable meteor shower. Ooh. Mm. Go ahead. You, I can send you back to Earth. Uh, in hopes of you not getting destroyed. <laughs> so that I can order shipments of stuff. What's that? Oh, that those are the meteors. Okay, so the meteor storm is happening here. And leaves metal deposits. Well, as long as the meteor storm is actually around here, that should be no issue. Sector scanned. Send you out. Scan those. Research complete. Magnetic filtering. Uh, that should give us what? More oxygen on Moxies? Anomaly found. Yes, more oxygen on Moxies. Another anomaly. Uh, we're gonna wait for the meteor storm to pass before we go into this area. Okay, we have a lot of electricity, so that's great. Even at night, we are positive. Mm. We have low polymers and low machine parts. That's understandable. Although polymer factory is working on double shifts. So our polymer situation should be fixed soon. Machine parts, that uses a whole lot of power. Magnetic filtering, anomaly analyzed. Yeah, we only have low machine parts right now. And this is not working because it's not working. Anomaly found. Another anomaly. Are those... Are those anomalies like brought by meteors? Is that it? 
Meteor has a chance to either spawn some metal deposits or some anomaly. Because if so, that's actually a very interesting concept. We're gonna need a way to get up here. Uh, we do have landscaping. A ramp. Uh, I want a ramp that goes from here. To here. Infirmary. You want an infirmary. Probably not a bad idea. Dome services. Infirmary. It's fairly small too. So we can just squeeze it in here next to the art store. Yeah, that should work nicely. We have excess power, we have lots of metals. We are getting there. You come back and unload, please. Uh, Meteor Shower seems to have ended. Uh, RC Commander, please go there and grab your drones and build this ramp. Mm, you're not working because because you're disabled. Uh, I'm gonna turn you back on. And I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you on. Uh, we're getting enough electricity. I think. gonna need more polymers but I'm gonna build another sterling generator here and a recharge station actually some of those recharge stations might not might be unnecessary like those two and they are just unnecessarily eating our power. Sector scan. Drones are under heavy load. I understand that. Those drones are working. And dumping stockpile could probably be useful. A large dumping site. Building's not working. Uh, not enough polymers. Uh, so the art store also uses polymers. Mm. Well, why are you not making enough <coughs> That's what I'd like to ask. What's that? Radio. Okay, that's cool. Didn't know this game had the uh, had a radio. Mm. We're gonna need maybe some. Uh, uh, an opened. Uh, hell yeah, open them. Didn't know they can be opened. Open all. No. Now we're talking. Research complete. I didn't know that was a thing. Hell yeah, turn that on. Make machine parts. 
Okay, now we're talking. What can we build now? Uh, electronics factory. Three D machining. Mm. Rover command. Cloning vats. That could be curious. Ah, life from Mars. Drone swarm. Okay. Why are you not being stabbed? Do I need another transport of people? Upgrade those. Mm. Okay, we have enough food, so that should not be an issue. We also have like a fungus farm. In here. Yeah, regular farm and a fungal farm. Oh, it, and it can be built outside. Mm, we have enough food, though, so I don't think that's necessary. Another passenger rocket. Uh, no tourists yet. Anybody with bad traits? Oddly enough, not really, I'm gonna need more engineers, uh, perhaps less no specs. Engineer, no spec out, geologist, no spec and scientist out. And a couple more engineers. Okay, that should be fine. We should receive a decent amount of colonists. Now I'm thinking, should we perhaps connect those two domes? Resources are low. Oh, this is taking time. Oh, no, I thought they're gonna be, like, slowly moving up the hill, but it seems and that they're only at the start, and they need to work through every single cell. <laughs> but no, no, they are just working right here, and the slope is just being created. Understandable. Can I get you to scan this? Can you get here, even? Or you're gonna try. So I'm gonna queue up some more for you. Shift. Um, no. Scan. Shift right. Shift right. Okay. Sector scan. Anomaly found. Oh, you're gonna go the long way. Through here or something? Probably. And then I have another anomaly for you to scan. Okay. We are now just waiting for more colonists. Everything else... Well, this needs repairs. 
with machine parts. Oh, this is making... Yeah, this is making machine parts. And this also needs machine parts. Well, I hope they make machine parts fast. Land that. Another shipment of colonists. <clears throat> All eager to work. I'm gonna add a third shift, actually. And I'm gonna add a second shift here. <coughs> Sorry for that. Something's sitting in my throat. Okay, we should be getting more machine parts and more polymers. Yeah, low machine parts, low polymers. I understand. And I know this is, in fact, an issue. Oh, I thought you guys were done. But it seems not quite. Where's the RC Explorer? Where are you going, little fella? Okay, so you're trying to find a way up, is that it? Okay, you know what? Scan me this one. We're gonna wait for a ramp until we send you up there. Drones are under medium load, that's fine. This needs machine parts, that is not fine. This needs polymer. Again, that is not not fine. Uh, I'm gonna turn you off. No art supplies for you guys, not yet. Uh, this is gonna be built soon. Although I don't know if there's any point to it. Yeah, you know what? Salvage that. We have enough sterling generators now that they're open. And they generate so much more. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Okay, we have new tech, battery optimization, biome engineering, deep scanning, Earthmars initiative, storage compression. Uh, deep scanning. Sectors can now be scanned again for deep deposits. <coughs> but they need additional tech to uh, uncover. Battery optimization. Storage compression. Oh, that could be useful. Biome engineering. Farms increase the comfort. That's actually nice. Earth Mars initiative increases research provided by sponsor. All of those are nice, nice bonus actually. Uh, and in the meantime, I want to order a supply pod. Off. Machine parts and polymer. Because we need to fix our stuff up. They're just walking aimlessly. Uh, can I provide you like a park or something? A pond, a stone garden, a garden, 
a small garden. Research complete. Yeah, you know what? You guys deserve a garden. Absolutely. Sector scanned. You're doing a good work extracting metals, building uh, machine parts. You deserve a place to relax. Instead of just walking aimlessly around the dome. What a pitiful existence it is. Your one and only joy in life. Walking around. <laughs> I don't think they actually use that though. So, Oh, looks like it's lunch time. Someone's buying yellow blobs, someone's buying orange blobs. Two people are buying red blobs. They might be really nice. This lady's buying some hot dogs. Land that. Whatever. Here. And of course, dismantle. Okay, that should give us enough machine parts and stuff for a while. Not for long. Not for long. Resources are low. Yeah, resources are low. This time it's electronics. We're gonna need, we're gonna need an electronics factory. And we can actually build one. Mm, no garden for you. I'm sorry. That Those are the realities of living on Mars. Have an electronics factory. A eulogy for an everyday hero. We gather here today to bid a final farewell to one of our finest. First death in the colony, I'm assuming? As difficult and painful as it is, we must accept that Ping Liu is dead. As friends, as a community, we express our sadness, we acknowledge our loss, acknowledge the great importance of Ping Liu's life. Ping Liu's life has been a journey towards a vision, a journey which brought us all towards the possibility of living on the Red Planet. One small step after at a time. Ping Liu didn't try to make their mark in human history, for there is no room for attempts in success. Ping Liu knew what the calling of fate was, knew the risks and the opportunities, and made the best of it, for the good of us all. What is it that takes a person through all of this is a question only we can answer. This is a question whose answer is the spirit of Ping Liu, and this is a legacy for us. Died of old age. That's great. Uh, oh, each time a colonist dies from a non-natural death, two applicants leave the pool. That's an interesting mechanic. Thank you, fellow colonists. That actually is an interesting mechanic. They basically get scared because someone died here and didn't die of old age, so something must have happened to them. And I don't want that something to happen to me as well. So, uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay, we're gonna build a dumping stockpile in this uh, emptied area. Drones will be placed under... No, they aren't placed under heavy load. Not yet. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you're, you're doing something. It's slowly turning into a slope, I guess. Hey, over halfway there. That's great. What does this require? Uh, electronics factory requires electronics. 
I should have known. Resupply for supply powder. Yeah, electronics. Electronics and uh, machine parts. Because mm, we need those. How's dust accumulation? No, it, it's not, not really an issue. There are no dust storms yet or anything of the sort. Storage space is full. We're gonna need more drones after all. I know that we can buy drones, question is, can we build any new ones? But that is a question that we will have to answer in the next episode, because we already hit 41 minutes. So like, favorite, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Cheers! And we found water in the sector. That's nice. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Cheers.